Hello, everyone. I, as we're preparing for the coming of the Holy Spirit Pentecost, uh, let's prepare well. And what I want to focus is, as we uh, 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 approach Ascension Sunday or Ascension Thursday, and then we go to uh, the Pentecost Sunday, the following Sunday after the coming of the Holy Spirit. And so I want to focus on three gifts of the Holy Spirit. There's seven of them, but I'm just going to focus on three of them. So we have uh, knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. And they all kind of sound the same. They're like, you know, wisdom, understanding, knowledge, ah, whatever. But there are some, um, they're related, but they're different. But what I want to do is start on the natural, so that it will hope, hopefully help us to see it on a supernatural level. So let's take the example of the natural. So let's take, for example, um, the idea of knowledge. I go to school and the teacher puts all this information in my brain. I have this knowledge, but I might not understand. Like I get this math class and all this stuff is coming in and I, whatever, right? And so I, I have knowledge, but not necessarily, I don't understand it until I begin to put it into practice. And then after that, we begin to uh, have lived experience, which becomes a wisdom. And so an example of this would be um, a language. Take for a, a language. I remember going to Rome and I had to learn Italian. And so I learned all of this information, these words, Italian words in my brain. And then, yeah, okay. I didn't really understand how to put it all together, the, the grammar and then the subject and the verbs and all that kind of stuff and so i had a, a knowledge but not necessarily an understanding but when i went there and i tried to practice it and it was a lot of hard work i remember at the end of the day my brain was so tired learning the language and but that was where i was growing in understanding and lived experience of wisdom what to do what not to do uh, another example is in life is swimming so i can get a book and i can read all about swimming, the front crawl, back crawl, and all that. And then I can close the book and then jump in the water. Nah, not quite. I'll jump in the water, but I might not be able to swim. And so when I get the, uh, I have this knowledge in my brain. So now I get into the water and then I have to understand how it works together. So the front crawl, I got to make sure that my, my arms are kind of swimming together. And then I my legs are, are kicking and then I make sure that I turn my head up and open my mouth to receive air and then I close it and then I close my mouth and I go this and but as life experience goes on I learn that um, sometimes I swallow a lot of water and oh man through life experience and I learned to say hey I gotta keep my, mo my mouth closed when I put it under water and so then I learned to uh, lived lived experience wisdom when to open my mouth when to not open it etc etc and so taking it from the natural now we want to bring it to the supernatural god has given us the wis uh the, the knowledge of our faith but we might not necessarily understand it you know we have um the, the trinity and we all we know about it but to fully understand it that takes time that we're always gonna not that we're going to be able to fully understand it um, the Ten Commandments, we might know, but we might not understand them. You know, like, keep holy the Lord's Day. Well, what does that mean? You know, can I skip Mass? Well, no. Or else I put myself, if I deliberately miss uh, of my own fault, then that becomes uh, a mortal sin that I want to go to confession before receiving communion. Now, during the pandemic, uh, the bishops have allowed us to be dispensed from it. But when that is over, then we go back to our normal uh, way of doing things and so taking these three gifts knowledge to know the faith and to understand it and then we live it out through experience and it becomes wisdom and so uh, take time to learn these three gifts and to grow in these gifts given to you at Pentecost and actually every day and every sacrament that we receive the Lord be with you and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.